don't want anything but ordinary I ran into an old friend the other day I can't forget what she said you got Hey everyone I'm dear cyber Sue welcome to the show We're gonna talk about how to deal with your partner's moods so you're in a relationship and it's going okay you've been there for maybe a year or two now and you really like them but there's certain things that are kind of quirky about them now how do you deal with this do you do you make it a deal breaker because they're starting to drive you crazy or do you find a way to make it work because let's face it we all have mood swings we all have days that we're not ourselves or not our best person so what are we going to do about it are we going to sit there and point the finger at them and make it worse or are we going to find a way to compromise with this the worst thing you can do, we'll start with that, is escalate it by saying, what's wrong with you? Get over this. You, the best thing you can do is validate their feelings. How can we make this work so that the mood dissipates quickly? Well, as I said, you don't want to get them all riled up. So the best thing you can do is say to them, talk to them, communicate with them and say, okay, let's talk about this. How can we, how can we make this work? How can we make it better so that it's not going to be a problem maybe in the future? Or how can we just lighten it up so it doesn't take over what's happening in our relationship for the next two weeks? Because some people hold on to stuff for a long time. So if your partner is willing to listen, that's a really good thing. And that's what you want to make sure when you're in a relationship, that your partner and you communicate that you can talk about these things and you can move forward that you're not going to rehash the same thing over and over again so what I would really suggest here is that you listen to what each other has to say offer a few suggestions don't tune them out don't leave the house for four hours thinking they're gonna get over it because I'm telling you right now sometimes people don't want to get over it if you're ignoring it it makes them even matter because they want to be heard they want something addressed with whatever their mood what's affecting their mood so the best thing that you can do is discuss it with them so that they have an outlet to to communicate whatever it is so again you're gonna have these things happen in your relationship especially in a long-term relationship the best way to do it deal with it is to acknowledge it don't ignore it like it's not there because I'm telling you right now it will get worse so anytime you have to deal with a partner's you know Maybe their mood is a sad mood. Maybe it's not an angry mood. And if they're sad, that's even more reason for you to sit there and talk to them about it because do you want your partner to be sad? Do you want them to always having to be dealing with everything by themselves because you're not taking any, you're not participating in, in what's happening in their life? So again, the best thing you can do is communicate, talk to them. I'm not telling you to solve their problems. They have to do that on their own, but just hear them out. Always listen to what your partner has to say. Thanks everyone for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Please subscribe and comment below the video. Thanks everyone. Bye bye. Feel this one a reckless heart, a beam of light right through the dark. Now I find myself wanting to push on, and I just can't.